my Scottish Irish brother, Sir George. How are you doing, sir? Very good, very good. Nice to hear from you, sir. Not too bad. Uh, you started your show by uh, this topic of unacknowledged Holocaust in human history. Uh, uh, you know, uh, if you've known, every 30, 30 seconds, that's every half a minute, a child dies out of hunger. Yeah, that's quite While a holocaust. Capitalism, the... capitalism has killed more people than any dictatorship ever in history and does so all the time, quietly. While I was waiting for your call, I did a, a calculation by hand. And every year, 1.8 million child dies out of hunger. And, you know, we just yeah. don't... That's quite a holocaust, huh? That's, uh, That's quite a holocaust. Also, uh, 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 another horrible example, actually, at the same time uh, during World War II in, in Bangladesh, because of the war and every other... In the famine, yeah. There was a famine, and according to my Bengali friend, there were anywhere from four to six million Bengalis vanished, and you never hear anything about it because Bengalis, you know, are in Asia, so, you know... Just... That's right. No, you're right, brother. Also, none, of that, it, it... none of that, of course, invalidates the fact that European, white, Christian, fascism set out systematically to eliminate from the face of the earth the entire Jewish people in Europe. That does not detract from our recognition of that holocaust absolutely. not at all absolutely. Absolutely. but we we insist that there's more than one holocaust absolutely. that's our point and, and they all should be acknowledged on the issue of congo actually if you recall mark twain the american uh satirist and uh, novelist also he wrote a piece on the the i think it was called the madness of uh, the belgium king or some yes uh, he did type. yes he did and he was called a madman because you know he 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 mentioned that the, the Holocaust in, in, uh, in Africa caused by the, the Belgian king, and, you know, he was as popular and as, you know, as uh, famous as he was for a while. He was really... Uh, uh, Ostracized, know, uh, yeah, yeah, ostracized definitely, yeah. That. So, you know, Mark Twain should be... Should, should I salute him. I salute him, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, of course, this happened everywhere. I mean, my wife is Indonesian. And she's currently in Indonesia, and she just posted on uh, Facebook uh, some pictures which were released for the first time of the Dutch massacres of Indonesian people, a vast archipelago, one of the biggest countries in the world, with now uh, a 250 million population, controlled by Holland, for God's sake, a country of about 8 or 9 million people who called it their own and who massacred people who demanded colonial freedom. And uh, these pictures are being shown now for the first time in 60 years. It's amazing. All over the world, these All white the world. European settler states occupied other people's countries and massacred the people in order to steal their things. Well, uh, uh, I'm just going to end with a, uh, a brief uh, a question and a, a, a comment. I sent you an email about... Uh, the arrest of Iranian labor activists uh, in Iran. I don't know if you got it or not. Well, I haven't seen it, brother, but I do get okay. I do get so so uh, many emails as, as you, know, you can um, imagine. I'll look out for uh, it. I uh, promise. Yeah, and as you know, I'm from Iran, so I yeah. started with some statistics about Holocaust. I'm just going to end it with some statistics about Iran. Yeah. And at some point, I I I, I would love to have a when you get a chance. I know you're very very busy, but when yeah. you get a chance to go over your email. According to Islamic Republic's own Center for Statistics, 10 million Iranians live in absolute poverty, while another 25 million live in what is called relative poverty. So you have a combination of 35 million people in Iran, a country of 76.8. That's almost half the population. They're living in, 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 in impoverishment in a country which is very wealthy, has a very educated labor force, and there's absolutely you, no excuse for it. So I think as far as a theocracy or, uh, in the, the Middle East is, is concerned, we should condemn...
all theocracies across the board, be it Islamic, Jewish, Christian, whatever form. And I'm going to leave you with that, and good luck. Okay. George? 